What is up, Legionnaires? Welcome back. Today I'm here with a product review, something that was sent to the channel for me to take a look at and give my feedback and thoughts on. You've probably seen it on a few other channels already. It has been making the rounds, but uh, I was, they were nice enough to reach out and ask, so I said yes, and we'll check it out and see what I think about it right after this. <music> Shout out to the homies over at Big Time Collectibles. Be sure to check them out on their website, on social media, on whatnot. Also, if you need anything clean or press, my buddy Justin can hook it up for as little as $10 a book. Check the link in the description to find his Instagram page. Reach out to him. Let him know you found him via the channel. And as always, a huge shout out to ABX Comics and Games, my LCS, the greatest LCS. If you're ever in the Augusta area, be sure to hit him up, swing by, check him out. And also, there's a link to their Facebook group down below for getting into comics, tabletop gaming, stuff like that. So here's the package. That was sent from a company called uh, Comic Capsules. I've opened it up. I haven't unpacked it. Uh, fantastically cool packaging. I do like that uh, they branded it. Uh, Board Boys proudly presents Comic Capsules protection through innovation. ComicCapsules.com. little QR code there. I don't know if that would be big enough for you to scan. But I uh, first heard about this company during the Comics Curing Cancer event. I believe they donated some stuff to what... Gary B, the casual comic guy, did for the event. So we got some stuff in here other than the capsules. All right. Looks like some serrated paper. Potentially like little, I don't know if you'll be able to see the serratedness. Some serrated paper, what I guess would be labels. If these things have labels. I didn't think they have labels. We'll see. Uh, envelope says, comic capsules doesn't come with self-adhesive labels, but we have included them in your PR gift if you choose to demo. So there it is. I guess that's what these are, little labels i don't think these things were big enough for labels like uh again i'll be comparing these a lot to these right here i love these things these comic skins but these are not meant to be those so i'm going to try not to uh over compare them comic capsules is compatible with self-adhesive label size available for purchase at online labels or sheet labels or places where you can order labels and they give you the dimensions that's pretty cool so here's a little instructions for if you want to make labels like websites you can go to and how to's for that. I'm not going to be doing that for this video. We're just going to check out the product as is. All right. So I got this board boys. So it's a little name of the board boys and a little bit about them on this. And then comic capsule marks the first product launch in a series of upcoming releases. So it's, I guess it's just one of more to come delivering Nerd Forge Protection for safeguarding your comic collections. Its patent pending design surpasses the capabilities of traditional top loaders with the following features. So they're trying to compete with top loaders with these. So if that puts it on on par with what you're doing, yeah, there's definitely not room for, for labels. I mean, there's an itty bitty edge to the top of these if you wanted to put a label there, I guess, or if it went on the top or something like that. So just to get this out of the way, nothing left in the box, but some really cool like uh, confetti. I like that. I'll definitely be reusing that box. All right, back to the note here. So here's the comic capsules first off. This is what they come in. Looks like they have instructions for putting the label on again and hanging them. That is uh, one feature that these have that what I would compare them to does not have. And we'll get into that in just a minute here. Uh, what these things have that top loaders do not have is full encapsulation because you know top loaders are just pretty much just uh, hard bags. You know, you just slide a book down into the top of them. So these have a lid to them. Comics benefit from comprehensive coverage, offering the protection of high-end solutions at a top-loader friendly price. Disagree with that. Uh, Flip-top convenience, effortlessly access via a lip hinge design, securely snapping back into place, which I think is cool, that little lid it has on it. Anti-UV hard shell. Protective anti-UV resin safeguards your comics with the transparent design front and back with reinforced corners and rounded edges. That's pretty cool, the UV protection. Stackable and secure. Innovative back panel design prevents slipping and fits in a short box. So that's pretty cool, like the stackable feature. I think that's pretty dope. Uh, the short box thing, we'll get it. We'll, we'll get into that. That's, that's something else altogether. Dedicated label area. Catalog collection with self-adhesive labels not included, not provided, but they threw some in here for the testing on this. So from the looks of this, there be labels, labels. So yeah, 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 yeah. So like you can put labels like where they show on the top vertically or on the front face. So that's pretty cool. They're not like labels like you would see on like a slab like that. It's just literally labeling. So you, I guess you can just access, see or know the book without having to take it out if you needed to. 
designed to fit modern-sized comics, including bags and boards, or silver-sized comics standalone, which I guess it means raw. If you want to put the raw book in there, give you the dimensions, limited time, introductory uh, sale price. So, uh, limited time, these sell for nine ninety nine. So comparable to top loaders, they are not. I know, like they're comparing them for. But I consider like different purposes, like the idea of it, like because you have different things like top loaders or showcase things, which are just hard shells, foam backs you put in there, and then you have the uh, the one touch that are magnet touches that are really expensive. You know, there's all kinds of different things like this, but those are a little bit more expensive. These comic skins that I use, which are comparable to do-it-yourself slabs, you know, they're actual slabs. These are just encapsulating. These aren't comparable to slabs, but uh, top loaders are super cheap. They're like a couple of bucks. These have a temporary price of $10. I will say you can get a 10 pack for $94.90. Eligible for free shipping for your followers. So uh, just to go ahead and throw that out there, if you want to order 10 of these for the limited price of $94.90 and try them out yourself, you can get free shipping with the promo code Legion of Comics 17. That's Legion of Comics 17. So keep that in mind if you decide by the end of this video you want to do that. And that's uh, that's very limited time on that as it will expire. We're delighted to offer your followers a discount code with free shipping in return for honest product reviews and demo on your platform. Feel free to use this code yourself as well. Discount code for purchases made on ComicCapsules.com only. You have until the end of the year to do that. So you got a few days to decide. A few days to decide. So act now as they say. I will show you this real quick so you don't forget. It's Legion of Comics 17. And I'll throw that into the uh, description as well in case you want to take advantage of that. That is for a 10-pack, not for a, a single. It's not for a 5-pack. It's not for a 9-pack. It's for a 10-pack at the temporary price of $94.90, which I'm assuming these might go up in price later down the road because it does say limited time introductory price. So there's that. If you grant us permission to use your content on Board Boys LLC accounts, channels, and marketing materials, please review our user content permission terms. And there's a website for that. When posting, please use the hashtag this to indicate your acceptance. So uh, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, I feel like if you, if y'all do check out this review, that's for my viewers. Uh, I'm giving them the honest review. If y'all would like to share this out, feel free to share the link out, but I don't, I don't give any permission beyond like the standard stuff that comes with YouTube of clipping stuff and stuff like that. But I don't give any extra permission like that. So I will not be putting that into the comment, but yeah, they can, anyone can always link my video out. These things are free to share out, but yeah, we kindly request the use of the following tags. Do, 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 if permission is granted. Okay. So yeah, we can be reached and they have the support stuff and all that. So yeah, super cool. They, they seem like they got their stuff together. Very good presentation and all that. So let's check these things out. We're eight minutes in. That's a lot getting into it. So comparable wise, uh, this is feels like it's kind of like a middle of the road option that you can get with the, uh... oh yeah, they just pop right on open. You just push it and it just has a little hinge there. Yeah, there's some stuff out there that you can, that you can get like just comic frames that hang on the wall for like three dollars. You can get top loaders for like three dollars. You can do all kinds of stuff, but uh, this seems like somewhere in between like the slab it yourself and a top loader, which is great because that's there's no reason that you have one or the other. It's great to have something kind of in the middle. I'm putting a modern book in here with the bag and board because uh, that's what I decided to test on. So it just so yeah, it just slides right in the top. They're definitely easy to use. You know, that's I don't really know what to say about that. Like super good design, slides right in. Like uh the reality of these, like I don't know what I would use it for. Like me and the way that I collect, and everyone's gonna collect differently, right? So, like uh, for me, it says that you can put them in a short box. Why I would ever put something like this in a short box, I'm not sure, other than for transportation. Like, uh, I get that aspect of stuff with high end stuff or something like that, but just the idea of like just putting comics in these to file them in short boxes, I don't think I would ever do that. Now, one thing that I, I do think I would do and could use this for is transportation. I do like to go to conventions and stuff, and that's why I put this book specifically in here for this video. Daniel Warren Johnson will be at Heroes Con next year. 
and I fully intend on getting him to sign this for my PC. So I really would like for this to stay in good shape till then. This book actually sits out on a shelf uh, for books that I have plans for. So knowing that this book sits on a shelf, this is perfect for that kind of thing, for that uh, the just in case protection and knowing that this will be like traveling with me out of the state walking around a con like that that's that's perfect for that uh display wise we I mean we can test it let's test this display aspect so that one it's going right back on the shelf till it's time to use it so that's actually pretty cool for that kind of thing like i don't like leave a comment down below what what would you use these for like i don't use top loaders like when it comes to putting books and top loaders and putting them in my long boxes or my short boxes uh, unless there's any event of an earthquake or let's, let's go with jet fire unless there's an event of an earthquake or something like that i don't know why my books that are just sitting in a box would be in need of it but i do love displaying stuff so uh i'm going to pull something down and see if i can just swap it out on the hanger with that we'll see how that works let's see so yeah, the back of them just has a little hanger for like a, a little tack, a finishing nail, whatever. I just pulled that down. I actually hung that on a thumbtack. It's just put it right up. There's a thumbtack right up there, and it actually worked just fine. So that's pretty cool, the accessibility and the ease of hanging something. And knowing that it has UV protection is pretty cool. But uh, So if you're just looking for a good option of something that can just hang your books really simply, that's pretty sleek, and you pretty much have the size of the book, that's pretty cool as well. Um so yeah, when it comes to stuff like this, it all all is kind of just like uh, for me, there's like more or less toys for comic collectors, which I love. I completely approve of. Obviously, I've got I've got stuff I, I do that with all the time. And this is a great option as well because I mean I don't have uh, my shelves up since I moved that I used to display stuff on. I don't have like uh, what are those things called? That people just stick on the back of slabs and hang them. So yeah, this is a great uh, option, and the fact that you get your books in and out of it is super cool. So yeah, I definitely think they're pretty dope. For $9.99, I think it's a pretty solid deal. Like I I don't know how I would feel about it being more expensive than that, knowing that there's other options out there, like actual just comic picture frames. You could get it like uh, like Second and Charles or uh, stores like that for just a couple of dollars. So if they're able to keep the price point at around $9.99 or even like potentially like put out like uh, uh, like price breaks if you buy in bulk, that would be super dope. But uh, yeah, I think... I think they're worth checking out. I think they're worth checking out if that's something that you like to do. I mean, uh, other than that, like, I I mean, that, that is what it is. They are meant for what they are meant for, you know, like uh, displaying books or traveling with books. But yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've used these before or what you could picture using these. And don't forget to check the description. Uh, if you want to order some or try them out, there'll be that free shipping discount code if you want to order a pack of 10. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. And until next time, oh, oh. One more thing. We're at the end of the wire here, guys. Last opportunity to check this out. Incredible Hulk issue 180 in a CGC 8.0. The two-month event, crossover event between myself and DJ Lynx. It's happening. It's happening right now. We're in the midst of it. You have till the end of December to secure your spot in the event. Don't forget to check out my main landing page here on YouTube. The video is pinned to the top of it. You don't want to miss out on your opportunity for that. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be a blast. I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to hit that join button down below and check out channel membership. See if it's something for you. It's a great way to support the channel as well as checking out the merch store. Pay out something nice with some of that Christmas money you got. And until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.